Hi everyone, I'm Eduardo Barbieri, Product Manager at Canonical. A look at products in the IoT and embedded space. Welcome to this webinar comparing Yocto and Ubuntu Core for embedded systems against the Cyber Resilience Act requirements. According to the latest IoT Embedded Developer Survey report by the Eclipse Foundation, Linux is the top embedded operating system of choice across constrained devices, IoT gateways, and edge nodes. While developers work with a broad range of Linux distributions, Yocto and Ubuntu are the clear winners. So how should developers and device manufacturers go about making the choice between those two? On the one hand, they can either build and support their own embedded Linux distribution with the Yocto project, or they can rely on an embedded Linux with 12 years of support like Ubuntu Core. The choice used to be based primarily on requirements like ease of use, but today, developer familiarity, complexity, security, regulations and maintenance are the main criteria. In particular, device manufacturers in Europe must pay attention to the Cyber Resilience Act. The CRA is a piece of European Union legislation which aims to make devices safer by mandating very rigorous cybersecurity, documentation and vulnerability reporting requirements for the IT industry. The legislation applies to developers, to distributors and to manufacturers of products with digitally connected elements. The CRA imposes a set of standards for the products and those requirements span the entire product life cycle. This is to make sure that devices remain secure until their end of life. For device manufacturers and for developers, the CRA means ensuring that your devices are secure both before and after they are sold. Devices must be able to receive security updates with rollbacks and they must provide detailed documentation and a software bill of materials. Other key requirements of the Cyber Resilience Act include minimizing the attack surface, preventing unauthorized access, encrypting data, and providing a complete list of cybersecurity standards met by the product. So how do Yocto and Ubuntu compare against the Cyber Resilience Act requirements? Let's find out. The Yocto project is an open source initiative under the Linux Foundation. Yocto provides tools for defining and building custom Linux distributions. Essentially, with Yocto, you can build a bespoke operating system for your specific needs. Yocto allows a rapid evaluation, and it is a sensible solution for early prototyping and for generating POCs, proof of concepts. Application developers can also build and test their embedded software without rebuilding the operating system image via Yocto SDKs. Also, to enable quick prototyping for testing proof of concepts or for new silicon hitting the market, Yocto provides blueprint root file system images for typical embedded Linux operating system stacks. Many developers see Yocto as one of the go-to environments for experimental pilot projects on off-the-shelf boards. This is because Yocto provides developers with control over every stage of compiling and building the target software. Its main value proposition is the granularity it offers to developers when tailoring their systems, from the bootloader all the way up to the Linux kernel and user space libraries. The ability to change virtually anything in Yocto recipes results in fully configurable bespoke solutions. As a consequence, however, Yocto exposes end users with lots of complexity by providing these high flexibility and customization options. And this complexity has significant implications for Cyber Resilience Act compliance. So let's look at the CRA in more detail and how it relates to Yocto. The CRA mandates that manufacturers must maintain high levels of security and reliability throughout the life cycle of their devices. The extensive customization and the configuration options in Yocto mean that on an individual level, developers must have a deep understanding of the system to ensure that all of the components are secure and up to date from the bootloader to the Linux kernel and the user space libraries. And according to the CRA, this also applies to any configuration, package or dependency, and failure to do that will result in vulnerabilities that will hinder compliance with the CRA requirements. Also, developers using Yocto are on their own when provisioning updates and maintaining their devices. Yocto has no built-in mechanism for over the updates, and upgrading software on Yocto-based devices is not easy. This lack of integrating over-the-air update support poses significant challenges for CRA compliance. 
without a streamlined update mechanism, ensuring that all devices remain up to date and secure can be difficult. And this introduces complexity for developers. In addition, the Yocto community support window is limited, which poses challenges for long-term compliance, as the CRA requires the manufacturers update and secure their systems beyond this period. This often necessitates a dedicated team to manage the life cycle of Yocto-based devices to ensure that they meet the CRA standards. What often happens is that the maintenance of one's Yocto distribution is a full-time endeavor for device developers. And if this maintenance is not constant, they risk being isolated in their obsolete Yocto fork as time goes on. The complexity is further increased when the embedded products have a long lifetime. Enterprises can't just take a snapshot of Yocto and expect it to work throughout time as the community version keeps evolving. Finally, the CRA mandates the Yocto developers package their security fixes and CVE patches. The CRA demands timely and effective security updates, and the absence of an integrated mechanism like over the air updates in Yocto complicates compliance efforts. Overall, then, to comply with the CRA, device manufacturers using Yocto must invest heavily in maintaining their builds, ensuring all dependencies are up to date, and promptly addressing any security vulnerability. This requires dedicated resources and expertise which significantly increases operational costs. Manufacturers may need to consider alternative solutions with long-term support and less complexity to better align with the CRA requirements and to ensure that their devices remain secure and functional throughout their life cycle. So let's now look at the next option. Ubuntu Core is Ubuntu for IoT and embedded devices. Just like Ubuntu, Ubuntu Core is open source, it is binary compatible, and it is backed by a strong developer community. The same software packages, the same robust performance and user friendliness are available on all versions of Ubuntu, from Ubuntu Desktop to Ubuntu Server to Ubuntu Core for embedded devices. And this provides a consistent experience across platforms while addressing the particular challenges of the embedded world. Ubuntu Core is optimized and engineered for security and reliable over the updates, and it is specifically designed for the world of cybersecurity compliance. Ubuntu Core takes a security-first approach to embed the Linux, starting with its architecture design, ensuring built-in security throughout the entire application and device lifecycle. So let's examine some of its features. Ubuntu Core has a read-only root file system to ensure that the base system remains secure and immutable. This prevents unauthorized modifications and reduces the attack surface, which aligns with the CRA requirements for maintaining system integrity, enabling manufacturers to ship their devices cost-effectively, complying with the CRA mandate and without needing to implement complex security features themselves. Let's now move from CVE patches in Ubuntu Core to confinement. At runtime, Ubuntu Core sandboxes individual applications by a policy-based system which restricts access to the file system, to network interfaces, to system calls, and other standard Linux facilities. But what about physical tampering? With Ubuntu Core, the OS abstracts the root of trust implementation for its secure boot by establishing the boot firmware integrity before establishing trust in user space processes for both ARM and x86 certified devices. Ubuntu Core also supports full disk encryption, protecting both the confidentiality and the integrity of a device data in case of physical access. But how about embedded Linux devices in the field where there is limited connectivity? Ubuntu Core provides out-of-the-box support for over the updates with deltas to conserve the bandwidth and to keep the functionality of an embedded Linux device always fresh and without the risk of breaking. Ubuntu Core provides a built-in production-grade software distribution mechanism that will move forward on success or automatically roll back to its latest stable state in case of failure. This means that a failed update will not leave the system in an unpredictable state. Ubuntu Core will not install the automated and transactional updates unless they are 100% successful. And this ensures that updates do not leave the system in a failure state, addressing the CRA requirements for reliable and secure update mechanisms. 
Now let's talk about remote devices. Devices running Ubuntu Core do not just receive a remote, unattended firmware updates. The operating system is long-term supported and managed for 12 years. As a production-grade operating system for embedded Linux, Canonical supports and provides constant maintenance to Ubuntu Core. This includes security updates to the base operating system and critical software packages, all the way to its infrastructure components. Device manufacturers face unprecedented challenges and opportunities. The opportunities are driven by the proliferation of connected devices, and the cybersecurity challenges are trying to be assessed by regulatory frameworks like the Cyber Resilience Act. Linux is the de facto operating system for embedded deployments because of its scalability, its modularity, and its robust community support, which are essential for harnessing the potential of modern silicon. When deciding on a deployment strategy in production, manufacturers must weigh the benefits of custom-built solutions against commercially supported operating systems. While the Octo project serves vital roles in rapid prototyping and custom development, Ubuntu Core is the optimal choice for enterprises navigating the complexity of CRA compliance and looking for long-term embedded system management.